In the traditional end of Bloodborne, after defeating the first hunter Gurman, an entity descends from the moon and picks you up, placing you inside the wheelchair to start the hunt all over again. But this is actually the secret final boss, the Moon Presence, which if certain conditions are met, you can face off against it and get the Childhood's Beginning Trophy. Hello everyone, this is gonna be a quick video guide on how to activate the secret final boss of Bloodborne, breaking down what exactly it can do, and also a little bit of backstory and conjecture on my end of what some of the lore behind it is. So the conditions for getting to this final boss fight is to use three of the one third of umbilical cords, which is an item which can be found in four unique locations. While you can get a total of four of them, well, you only need to use three and that will be more than enough to make sure that this final boss does actually trigger. The first one is actually pretty easy to find as long as you're looking for it and it can be found in the old workshop. Just follow where I'm walking here and basically after you beat Vicar Amelia this pathway is going to open up which you can get to pretty fairly early on in the game. Yay! Plus two, you get the doll set, which is a pretty cool set if you ask me, so that's a little bonus, as well as a nice little comb that you can go to the doll and get a little bit more dialogue as to some of the backstory there. This second umbilical cord you can find is by killing Imposter Yosefka after you've defeated Brahm and enter into the Blood Moon cycle of the game. The path to Yosefka's clinic is hidden in the Forbidden Woods, and technically speaking, if you do go into the clinic, you can fight her before the Blood Moon activates. Don't do that. She needs to be alive well into the Blood Moon, and if you do return after you've beaten Rom, well, you're gonna see her now just lying down, kind of writhing in pain. Now just walk up to her, you can talk to her as much as you want for a little bit more background on who the imposter actually is. Somebody from the academy is seeking ascension through great one eyes, it's a whole thing. As soon as you hit her once, she's gonna die, then you can pick up the umbilical cord hey. from her corpse. Now the most difficult one to get is from Ariana, who can be recruited about mid-game into the Cathedral Ward. You can recruit her as soon as you beat three bosses in the game, and you can either find her by progressing the game normally, or you can use the Hunter Chief Emblem if you want to unlock the area a little bit earlier on. Once you do recruit her, you must make sure not to take her blood three times while another person, Adela, has been rescued and is also hanging out in Cathedral Ward. If you do take the blood three times from Ariana while Adela is there, Adela's gonna kill her. And once again, similar to Imposter Yosefka, Ariana has to stay alive before you activate the Blood Moon. And once you've beaten Rom, you come back here, she's gonna be in pain in her seat, but as soon as you beat Mikolosh, host of the Nightmare, if you come back, she's no longer gonna be here anymore. You backtrack a little bit and then you're treated to a small little scene where a monstrous baby is born. Kind of disturbing, but as soon as you kill it, you're gonna be able to get that one third Yay. of umbilical cord from its remains. Now this last one is the easiest to get. You're guaranteed to get it on every single playthrough and you get it from beating the second final boss, Murgo's wet nurse. As soon as you do defeat the ghoulish boss, the baby is gonna stop crying. And when you walk over to its crib, you can pick Yay. up the umbilical cord. Also too, this is gonna trigger the final section of the game where the hunter's dream is now on fire and the doll is gonna signal to you that German is now waiting for you in the final boss area. Now before fighting German, Make sure to consume at least three of those one third umbilical cords. Nice little bonus, they do give you three insight per umbilical cord, so it pads your insight a little bit more if you want to purchase things from the messenger store. Once you've downed all those umbilical cords, you also too you can do four if you've got all four of them, then mosey your way into the final boss area and talk to German right by the tree. He's gonna tell you that he's gonna kill you in mercy and just make sure to refuse his deal and that's gonna trigger his final boss fight. At this point, you just gotta defeat German, kill the first hunter and you're all set on track to be able to fight that moon presence. Once he's defeated, the cutscene is gonna trigger where the moon presence will descend and grab you, very similar to the previous cutscene. But in a twist of events, you're able to actually escape its grasp due to some power of the great ones. And then the moon presence, it's gonna turn hostile towards you. Now, in my humble opinion, I think that the moon presence is a much easier boss fight than German. But if it does defeat you, don't sweat it that much because if you come back to the final boss area, you don't have to redo the German fight. You just skip right to the moon presence, which is fantastic. Of note, it is very vulnerable to visceral attacks. So, you know what? Make sure you've got enough bullets in your stock to try and catch it off guard because that will make this a lot quicker. It does come with a very special move, which is called Gaze of the Moon. This big spherical attack, reducing your health down to one HP, regardless of all stats, armor, or remaining HP that you might have. Important to mention though, as soon as it activates this, it's actually gonna go into this recharge state, which will allow you to either get in there and get a couple of good hits on, or you can use blood vials just to get yourself back up and healthy, ready for fighting. It can, however, also launch blood into the air, similar to some of the other bosses, and if you do get caught by it, you're unable to use blood vials, which in combination with Gaze of the Moon can become particularly dangerous. Then, as soon as you're done beating the Moon Presence, you're gonna be treated to the very final cutscene of this game, where the doll will pick up a slug, 
very similar looking to the moon presence, and we'll refer to it as the hunter. It is very likely that you became a great one after consuming the umbilical cords, and thus the moon presence couldn't do whatever it wanted with you, unlike the other endings of this game. In all the descriptions of the umbilical cords, they do start with, every great one loses its child, and then yearns for a surrogate. Now, while all of these three different umbilical cords came from different great ones, by consuming three of them, it's implied that you became the new great one child. You are the surrogate. This is further evidenced by the trophy's name, Childhood's Beginning, and honestly just confirmed by the trophy's description itself. You became an infant great one, lifting humanity into its next childhood. This also explains why the doll refers to the little slug guy, the new great one, as the hunter, as it looks very shockingly similar to the moon presence. Now this isn't confirmed, but I'm pretty sure they're trying to mirror the ending where you kill Gerben, and then suddenly you become the new Gerben for the next set of hunt. Except this time around, you've killed the moon presence, meaning that you are now going to replace the moon presence as the great one watching over humanity from this point forwards. All right, and that just about wraps up the guide. Honestly, there's no real confirmation as to what the final cutscene is supposed to say, so let me know down in the comments below if you agree with my interpretation or if you think there's there's something else that I might have missed in the lore, because there's a lot of stuff going on in Bloodborne and it can be overwhelming at times. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if this did help you, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, everyone.